That's right, we're doing a Wander Transit 45 liter backpack review. And this bag's bringing a lot of cool stuff to the table. But is it the travel bag for you? To find out the answer to that question, you're gonna wanna watch this full review and stick around to the end, because if it's not the travel pack for you, I'll make some alternative recommendations that I think better suit your needs. And a special shout out to Safety Wing Insurance for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you a bit more about them in just a minute. Let's kick off by talking about the gist of the Wander Transit Backpack 45 liter. As of recording, this backpack is on Kickstarter. There's a 45 liter version and a 35 liter version. It's a highly weather resistant, expandable travel backpack with some really great access points, especially for photographers, and some super interesting features like these self-locking zips, the biggest water bottle holding compartment that I've ever seen, the ability to stow away the straps, and a harness, shoulder strap, back panel comfort situation that it's pretty impressive. Like all Wandered products, it places an emphasis on sexification. It's one thing that Wander does so well is making really aesthetically pleasing products, but does it compromise the functionality? It should be noted too, the 45 liter is actually a 40 liter, but expands to 45 right here, and the 35 liter is actually a 30 that can expand as well. And those two bags are basically carbon copies of each other, minus the size. We got some really nice materials, including uh, the waterproof tarpaulin and some YKK zips, and a ton of organization and compartments, which might be too much for you. Let's find out. It comes in two color options, the black and the green, and I love the green so much more. This is sick. The 35 liter weighs 4.1 pounds, and the 45 liter weighs 4.6 pounds. This is the bag when it's empty, and this is when it's fully packed out. For reference, I'm five foot eight. And I'm gonna pack this guy out throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. The Transit backpack is covered by Wandered's warranty, which covers you against any manufacturing defects. And currently, the Kickstarter price is 250 USD, and this thing will fully retail at 330 USD. And if at any point in this review, you're like 330 USD with a lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects, and oh my God, it's so sexy, I want one. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the second link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price, and it also helps support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Okay, let's start with the front of the Wandered Transit 45 liter backpack. Cause at first look at the front, the bag looks pretty minimalist, but there's a lot more happening behind the scenes, but we got like this just sort of sexy flush panel, which is dominated by two aspects. First of all, Wandered's branding. They like to have this little stamp there. For me, it's a bit big for my taste, but you know, if you're into this wandered, adventurous sort of lifestyle, I think it, you know, suits your lifestyle. And let's talk about the material, because it's an enormous selling point of this bag and the overall identity of this bag. This material is tarpaulin. Now, there's a very long name for what exact material this is, but basically, it's tarpaulin. And tarpaulin is kind of rubbery, leathery looking almost. And a material like this is gonna be weather resistant. Like, rain is just gonna literally glide right off of it. And you're like, Aaron, oh my God, the front is so minimalist, but let me start breaking that perception down because it's really not. We got one, two front side pockets. It's just a big pocket, no additional organization. With the build of it, we got some expansion, right? So it's not super tight. Sometimes these pockets are just like a sheet, right? And it's like, I can fit a tablet in there, I guess, maybe, and that's it. But this one's got some extra oomph to it. And then on the other side, we have a pocket that's basically the same, got the same oomphiness but it's split with a stitch in two. So you can see right here, it's split into two sides and each side has a mesh pocket, a super stretchy, silky smooth mesh that I'm a big fan of. And that's it. So basically you can look at the big pocket as like a throw off, right? Because of the access of this pocket, because of how fast it is to grab something there, I'd put something there that you want quicker access to. So think about it, you're traveling, it gets cold in the airplanes, the trains, right? So for me, keeping a jacket close by is always a good call and I am an avid journaler. I want my moleskin as close as possible at all times. Seems like a good spot for that. Zip it up, good to go. These are YKK zippers. There's no PU coating on this front zippers. There are some PU coatings on the back zippers. I'll show you those in a sec. And these two front pockets have the same zipper pull. This has a little bit of traction on it just to give you a little extra grip when opening and closing the bag. And with this pocket, because of the way it's organized in that cut and those pockets, I think they're perfect passport size. Now, normally I carry my passport in this. This is the side-by-side -side little pouch. So I can go ahead and throw that in there. That's got my passport in it. It's got some cash in it. It seems to fit. Will you close? Eh, looks like I won't be using this. So I'll throw my two passports then, international driver's license, 
and some backup cash and cards. I'll disperse these throughout these pockets. They're deep, they seem pretty secure. And then because of the positioning, when you're at the airport, right, you just need to grab something real fast. You're at the gate, they're like, passport, please. And you're like, really? For the 40 freaking time? Like, I think that I've given you my passport enough times, but they still want it that 41st time, right? Easy to grab. And that quick access is just awesome to have, especially when you're traveling, especially as a digital nomad. But you know what else you need when you're traveling as a digital nomad? Insurance. And that's why Safety Wing Insurance offers specialized plans specifically for digital nomads and remote workers. Now here's the deal. I know insurance isn't super sexy, but the truth is I have insurance every time I travel, especially when I'm digital nomad -ing. I built my online businesses while traveling the world and being a digital nomad in Mexico, Thailand, Vietnam, Hong Kong, and literally dozens of other countries. But when I used insurance like back in the day, it was so archaic as to where Safety Wing is so much more modernized. You simply pay when you want your insurance to start and you just cancel the plan when you're done traveling. And until you cancel it, it just keeps rolling over. There's no paperwork, there's no listing your countries, there's no, oh, I'll be here for this amount of days and there for that amount of days. If you've done travel insurance before, you know what I'm talking about. It's just so much simpler with Safe Doing. And for those reasons, it's kind of more like just a rolling Netflix subscription and it's so much more convenient in that sense. Plus their customer service is awesome. We did a test to see how long it would respond and it took literally 19 seconds. It's hard to beat that. So if you are a digital nomad or a remote worker, don't take your health for granted. You wanna be covered and you can learn more about Safe Doing with the first link in the description. Back to this guy. And a couple final notes about the front. We've got these external lash points right here. These are good for connecting things externally to the bag, especially within Wandered's ecosystem, right? They have these different modular accessories that you can clip on, whether you wanna carry like a tech kit or a camera cube, or you can just clip on something like with a carabiner, whether you wanna carry something externally there. These just give you options, right? And the last point is the expansion. Now, travel bags are kind of split. About half of them have expansion in the back, right? You zip somewhere around the back and it opens there. And more often you're starting to see the expansion in the front. The expansion runs the full 360 of this compartment. You've got ballistic nylon underneath for additional durability. And like I said, that helps you go from either 30 to 35 liters, or in this case, from 40 to 45 liters. I'm gonna show you where this expansion expands from in the main compartment when we get to the next section. But one final note, this is where we first see these zipper heads from Wandered. These guys right here. This is a new addition to the Wandered family. Welcome. And they do two things that are quite interesting. First, just by having this little loop-de-loop, -loop, it enables you to easier grab the zipper, right? You're not like trying to pull with two fingers. You just do one of these and like literally you can like one finger the bag, right? Like this is always nice to have if you need it. But two, the most interesting thing about these zippers is that they do lock with other zippers. Now it depends on the location, but I'll show you how these other zippers connect in just a moment. Let's move on to the middle of the Wandered Transit Backpack 45 liter. Got a water bottle pocket yet again. This new addition to the Wandered family, zipper, and this is a beefy water bottle pocket. And if you are a hydration freak, which I mean with all due respect, you're gonna love this bag because there's two water bottle pockets, which is kind of a lot, but let me just show you what's going on. So this guy has the expansion right with this gusset and the zipper allows you to keep it nice, tidy, and flush in the situation that you're not using it. But because it's got that expansion, you can fit a big ass water bottle. So this one is a 1000 milliliter, and I assume it'll be able to fit, oh comfortably with room to spare. And if you want, you can get a carabiner to clip onto this little compression strap. It's actually not a compression strap though, because what it helps do is just keep things in place because Wandered is a company that caters a lot to photographers. So if you're using a tripod, you can go ahead and pop the tripod there, take this out and clip it into place so your tripod is extra secure on the side of the bag. We got a side handle here. There's actually four side handles in this bag, one on each corner, one on the top, one on the bottom. And these are great for access points, leverage, putting it in the um, overhead bin on the flight, or whether you just wanna pick it up from the ground. Just having four of these just gives you a little bit of extra leverage for wherever you're going. It makes it a lot easier to grab the bag. Now let's talk about access, because Wandered being a company that caters to photographers, access is really important, right? Because you're traversing through the world. I don't know if traversing is a word, but I'm gonna run with it. And you're a photographer and you got your DSLR and you're like, oh my God, a wild puma. I've never seen one of those in person before. I need to capture this moment. Swing the bag around, unzip, and then if you have a camera set up right here, you just go ahead and grab your camera, snap the photo, pop it back into place, 
access is tight. But if you're not a photographer like myself, you can use this just for access in general, right? Whatever you have in the main compartment. And Wander does something nifty right here by adding some side pockets so you can put like maybe some extra cash right there or just things that you might wanna grab, have access to that are safe inside the bag. That's what this does. But let's just bring it back to these zippers real fast. So I can show you how they lock. We got two of them on this side. They got these triangles, right? The little loop-de-loops and you just kind of pop them into place. Twist, oh yeah, we have an anti-theft locking mechanism. Now this is not gonna completely stop a thief, right? It's not like a, you know, steel vault, but it will deter theft, any crafty, you know, pickpockets out there. They just won't get the wrong idea. And then to take them out, you just sort of swing them sideways, undo them, and then you're good to go. I love the security measure of these zippers. One thing though is they are a little bit big, a little bit loud, a little bit sort of cumbersome at times, but if security is a big thing for you and you're really concerned about that, especially pickpockets, um, then having this additional security is going to be awesome for you. And with the placement of these zippers, you can actually attach them to like other zippers. So like this zipper can connect to this. So you can sort of mix and match which compartments you wanna lock and how you wanna lock them. Other side, this one also has the same quick access on the other side with the same pocket. Should be noted too, these zippers are the side access ones, PU coated ones, which is great if you are a photographer, if you are keeping your camera there for the quick access, ain't no rain gonna sip through those parts. And then this side, we have an interesting pocket which I had no freaking clue what this was for. I mean, it's a pocket, right? You can put anything in there. Wandered in their advertising said it would be another good spot for a water bottle, right? So let's say you wanted to put the tripod in the other water bottle holder. So you can put a big old water bottle here. Let's see if the 1000 milliliter fits a little tight, but it does. Now wrapping up the middle, let's talk about the top of the bag. And we have a top pocket right here. PU coated zipper, YKK. And this is just sort of a shallow pocket, right? And you might be like, what is that for? And I'll say like, well, I don't really know what it's for for you, but for me, good spot for my shades. I'll throw some napkins in there. Really just like a quicker access stuff, especially if you can fit this bag below the seat in front of you while you're flying. The 45, you're gonna have a tough time, but let's just be honest. But the 30 slash 35, you might be able to. Then you can put some things in there that you want quicker access to because it's literally below you, boom. You know, you get the gist. And now for the middle, let's get into the actual main compartment, right? It's like, this is where all the magic happens. Yet again, PU coated zip. This is a chunky zipper, YKK number 10, I'm gonna assume. Zipper number 10. And we're basically full clamshell opening here. It's a side clamshell. Love clamshell when you're traveling. You ever travel one of those big, like longer hiking backpacks? You gotta shove everything in the top and then things get stuck at the bottom. It's the worst. <laughs> this bag ensures that you never have to deal with that. It opens more like a suitcase than it does a backpack. And as to where on the outside, there's kind of like a lot going on. The inside is much more minimalist, which I really appreciate. I don't need compartments and all this I just want a simple travel experience when it comes to the main compartment. That's what Wander provides. So let's start with this side, which has two mesh pockets. Mesh is great because it offers expansion, right? So if you wanna throw a bunch of clothes in these parts, you can, and it expands out. Zip gets you in, pretty easy. And then Wander added this, I don't remember what they call it, but it's kind of cool. You just pull on this, check this out. And then you're in, I do admit, that's, that's actually pretty awesome. And then we have this back panel section as well, which to bring it back to the front is what connects to the expansion. So when you are expanding from 30 to 35 or 40 to 45, that extra five liters is coming from here. I'll pack it out in just a second. Let me explain the other side first. Now, this is where it is minimalist, but it can be very complicated if you want it to be, because yet again, wandered, good job. Modular ecosystem, lots of camera gear. So you can go ahead and like with all these little clips and daisy chains and Velcros and stuff, connect it to other parts of the wandered ecosystem. Camera cubes, packing cubes, whatever cubes you like, um, there are ways to connect wandered's cubes with wandered's transit backpack. I'm not a huge like cubes and attach kind of guy with travel. I'm kind of just like a throw everything into packing cubes and throw it in there kind of a guy with travel. So let's do that right now. So you can see exactly what fits in this bad boy. So my packing cube of choice recently has been the Tortuga packing cubes. Super durable. I got a big one, two small ones. I'm gonna bring my big old Sony headphones. Let's see, a spare umbrella, my dop kit with bathroom stuff. Oh, also from Wandered. Travel pillow, tech kit from Air. Let's see how that goes, and then we'll pack it out more if we need. Big old packing cubes in first. I'm gonna throw my headphones. Where am I gonna put my headphones? On top, but they're easy to access. Tech pouch, dop kit, umbrella. Just to get a feel. Oh, God. This thing is big. I mean, it should be, it's 40 liters. 
and I've got it expanded to 45, right? So we got some extra breathing room and you can see that closed, no problema. And we haven't even touched this flap, right? With the expansions. So you can imagine how much more stuff you can actually fit into this. I'm not gonna pack the full thing out because obviously everybody packs differently, but you can get a pretty good idea of how much this thing can haul. Let's talk about the back of the Wander Transit 45 liter backpack. We've got another pocket up here, sort of a quick access pocket with a keychain. I quite like the location of this pocket because when I'm traveling, I don't need like super fast access to my keys, which makes sense because this is not a super fast access area. And it's a PU coated pocket with the lockable zipper. So you can go ahead and lock this one to this one. They merge and bond as one to keep your keys extra safe. Let's talk about comfort. And comfort for a travel backpack can come down to many elements. First up, let's start with these guys, load lifters, right? The whole goal with comfort of a backpack is to take weight off your back and redistribute it more towards your torso, right? Load lifters, check it, that's what they do. I go from ooh to ah, <laughs> we're eyeing right now. Now these load lifters are unfortunately sort of bringing the straps into my neck a little bit. And I'm, a su I'm not a super big dude, I'm five foot eight. So I'm gonna loosen them ever so slightly, which is fine. You don't wanna like be pinching the whole thing together too much. That's not the point of the load lifters. It's just to kind of take a little bit of weight off. It accomplishes that nicely. There's no web holder for these, unfortunately. So we got a little extra dangle going on. Lower, we have some daisy chain spots, right? For external lash points, clip a carabiner on, carry something externally if you wanna carry something right here, like an AirPod case or something. And then we have the next item in this, which is the sternum strap. Sternum straps, yet again, weight off the back, weight towards the torso. Like the sternum strap, it's a, I've seen the system before, maybe on wander bags. It's plastic, but it's pretty high tech the way that it pulls off and snaps back on. It's adjustable, so you can put it lower or higher depending on your body type. And where we didn't get a dangle stopper here, we did get a dangle stopper here, AKA web holder, AKA stop the dangle. I'm stoked that this was included because the hip belt was not included. A bag this size, 40 to 45 liters. I'm usually a big fan of hip belts. Just, they look like, hey guys, what's up? I got my hip belt, you know? But um, the what you lose in lameness or gain in lameness, you get an ultimate comfort. It's just, that's the trifecta, right? Load lifters, sternum strap, plus waist belt. Now you can buy the waist belt with Wandered as an add-on, but it does not come with this bag. Lower down on the shoulder straps, we have this nylon, basic nylon, nothing to really say about it, but we do have another dangle holder here, a web stopper, just to make sure this isn't as this E, it's more like, Halt. The shoulder straps themselves are pretty comfy. We got some nice ventilated mesh right here. It's not super thick padding. I might prefer a little bit more padding, just a personal preference on my travel backpacks. I'd say this is in the middle of what I've tested. Not too bulky, not too thin. And then from there though, you're like, hey Aaron, um, what about that stowable shoulder strap thing? Tell me about it. I'll feed you a little birdie. A lot of bags have stowable shoulder straps, but I've never seen one done like this before. We got the back panel, which I'll talk about in just a second. But when you're like, ah, crap, I gotta put my bag in the overhead container, right? Instead of having all this crap juggling all over the place, just like, you know, this is kind of a nightmare. You can say, I want a clean and seamless experience. Be gone, shoulder straps. And then you saw that in about three seconds, the shoulder straps are gone and it's just easier to put it in the overhead bin. It's actually one of the more seamless ways to do it. I've never seen this like split Velcro thing before. And it's funny because I was wondering how that would affect comfort, but I didn't actually realize any weirdness on my back with the back panel, which we'll talk about right now, as to where the shoulder straps I think weren't super, super, super cushiony, which is not bad or good, just depends on what you like. The back panel definitely has a bit more, mm, a little more cushion. Same great ventilation. These cuts just make sure the air can kind of come in and out, keeping your back nice and cool on those hot summer days in South America or Asia or wherever you are. For me, a travel backpack doesn't need to open shoulder straps, but I'd like to hear what you think. Do you think that backpacks, travel backpacks around this size, do you like to stow the shoulder straps? Let me know in the comments below. And finally, we got this luggage pass-through holder, which is easily <laughs> the most pathetic, small, puny little luggage pass-through holder I've ever seen in my life. Let me clarify though, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm not saying it won't work. I've just never seen one like this. <laughs> Normally they're thick, they're more bulky, they're more durable. Should keep the bag in place. With the Velcro though, I don't think it's the most secure sort of luggage pass-through holder situation going on. But one thing that I did like that Wander did was they set up the bag in a way that if you have a water bottle here and your laptop here, which we'll talk about in just a second, so many things to discuss, that if your luggage pass-through holding like this, then on this side, you have the things that you want access to, right? Because it's a horizontal luggage situation. 
So then your water bottle here, your laptop here, plus the more organized pocket with your passports. Nicely done, Wandered. Nicely done. And yeah, let's do it. Laptop compartment. YKK PU coded zip. One thing just to note is like there's a lot of zippers and they all got this on it. It's like what I talk about with air sometimes. There's so many zippers, there's lots of dangle and jingle and you know, going on. It's definitely not the most minimalist experience, but if you like features, you gonna love this. When it comes to side access laptop pockets, I'm on team, cool. Let's do it. Cause I don't think there's any benefit one way or the other, to be honest. I actually kind of like the side access. This is a little flappy flap right there, which you can do tablet on one side and your laptop on the other. And this laptop holder can hold up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. So I'll throw my 13 inch in there just to get a feel for how it functions. Honestly, it's a big ass compartment though. Wow. Well, it's nice security. We've got some decent padding and that YKK PU coated zipper will also help to keep out the rain, which is really nice because as expensive as this bag is, my laptop is four or five times more expensive than that. So it's of the utmost importance to keep it protected. Oh my, I almost forgot, last thing. Should have done this in the middle section, but we down here have a little secret pocket. This is good for a rain jacket, right? Sold separately. Wandered has these rain flies. It fits the bag, so you just keep that there in case you get caught in one of those famous Southeast Asian summer monsoons. You unzip this, grab the rain jacket, cover your bag, and then your bag went from water resistant to waterproof. Let's talk overall pros and the cons of the Wandered Transit 45 liter backpack. Pro number one, tons of features. Pro number two, highly weather resistant and durable materials. And pro number three, I think it's a super, super, super comfortable travel backpack, especially if you grab the hip belts on top of it. But it's not a perfect bag, no bag is. Let me tell you what the cons are of the Wander Transit 45 liter backpack. We got zippers galore. I do appreciate the self-locking mechanism, but there's just a lot of zipperage going on here. Con number two is that while there's a lot of features, it might be features overkill for me, who prefers a bit more of a minimalist travel experience with my backpack. And con number three, at this price point, 350 USD after the Kickstarter, I would have liked to have seen the hip belts included. So if you're still watching this, thank you for sticking it out with me. This is gonna be a longer review, but if you're still here, it probably means that you're digging this bag you might be thinking about making a purchase. And remember, if you are gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you do so using the second link in the description. Reason being is it just makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate, thank you. But you also might be here because you're saying, Aaron, you promised some alternative recommendations that might better suit my needs. Where are they? Here they are. Alternative recommendation number one, it's going to be the Tortuga Travel Backpack. I mentioned it a bunch of times. If comfort is of the utmost importance to you, to me, it's the most comfortable travel backpack on the market. Not as sexy, not as many features, but comfy as all hell. And if you wanna learn more about the Tortuga Travel Pack, you can do so by navigating to the description below where you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Wandered Provoke 41. This is for you if you wanna stay in the Wandered ecosystem, you like the look and the materials, but there's just too much happening with this bag. You want something a bit more minimalist with a bit of a different look. The Wandered Roll Top's got your back and you can watch our full review by checking out the description below and finding a link to our full review. And finally, alternative recommendation number three is going to be the Peak Design Travel Backpack. To be honest, the more I think about it, this bag is taking a lot of inspiration from the Peak Design Travel Backpack. Not all of its inspiration, but a decent amount. Understandably so, the Peak Design Travel Backpack is an iconic travel backpack. It's got the expansion in a very similar position as this bag does, plus a ton of other features. It's great for photographers. And we did a full review on it, which you can watch here. Be sure to check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron. This is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.